Well, good evening, everyone. Life with Eddie. And it's been kind of a, kind of an up and down week since, well, it's just the other day. I gave y'all an update. This one's a little different. Well, oh yeah. Uh, I have to heat up water for Eddie every once in a while because he likes grits in the morning. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm up. I get to, uh, you know, measure out the water, pour it in the pan, you know turn the fire on I thought so I'm, I'm kind of looking at my phone at, at the weather and sitting there looking at the pan of water and I thought man it sure is taking a long time to, to boil and I, I knew that the, the burner was on because the stove was getting hot and I just thought well okay I guess it's taking a little longer well come to find out the pot on the other burner was sitting here and smoke was starting to pour out of it. I thought, what's going on with that thing? And then I realized, sitting there watching the water boil, nothing's happening. The pot next to me has got, I forgot what's in there. And it's it just a sizzling away. And I thought, oh man, boy, I am today. So anyway, I got that turned off, put water in that pot to kind of calm it down, and I got the right one going. Anyway, I got his breakfast ready, and he usually has, you know, a pretty good breakfast, eggs, bacon, uh, toast, and uh, uh, grits. So, that's his, that's his everyday breakfast. Well, anyway, last night, I got about two hours of sleep. You know, I, he, uh, he had me help him do some stuff, and this was around, I don't know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. <clears throat> and uh, so, got all that taken care of, got him in bed, got him covered up. And so I went out there and watched TV for a few minutes with Marie, and I fell asleep. So, long about 1 o'clock, I'm out there on the couch, and that, that stupid bell goes off, and I thought, oh man, what's going on? So I went in there, and sure enough, it was, you know, helping Eddie with some stuff. And uh, so I got that taken care of. By then, it was, uh, I think it was about 1.30 when I had to get up, maybe a little later. But anyway, when I got out there, got done, and uh, I looked at the clock, it was 2.30. And so I thought, well, I'll get a little sleep, I hope. So... Anyway, I've got these two couches. We got one out in the living room. We got one back there in my office. And when I get tired of sleeping in one, I go out there to the one in my office because I have to stay close to that that stupid bell. So uh, anyway, I decided to go out there. And, oh man, I was tossing and turning and thought, oh man, I ain't gonna. So I I turned on Perry Mason. So I'm sitting there watching Perry Mason. I watched about I don't know. 30 minutes of that, I thought, I don't like this. So I went on to Hogan's Heroes. So I was watching Hogan's Heroes, watched two two, uh, two episodes, so there's an hour right there, so got that done. <clears throat> Wrong about 3.30, here goes that bell again. I thought, oh man. So anyway, I get up, go in there, help Eddie, get all that taken care of, go back in there, you know, clean up, and then go back out there and I thought, I just got to go to sleep. So, finally sat in my recliner and kicked it back. Doing pretty good. Long about 6 o'clock, I heard this big thump. And then I thought, oh man, I, he, he's not hollering. I says, but I need to go in there and check him out. Well, sure enough, he, he's, he, he's, he, he's fell again. But... Evidently, I, I don't know why he didn't yell. I guess maybe he's so full of medication it doesn't bother him anymore. I, I get him up, get him in bed, get him situated. So I'm out there and uh, uh, let's see what there was something else that happened. Uh, oh yeah, somehow when he fell, he sprained his ankle, and I mean it was you know your ankle like that. Well, it was you know it was pretty big, so. We put some ice on it, and evidently it didn't get uh, didn't get swollen, uh, didn't get hurt too bad because it, the sw the swelling went down pretty quick. So anyway, here it is around seven o'clock, and I I am dog tired, and I just I just said there ain't no sense trying to go to sleep now because 
he's going to be wanting to get something to eat here pretty soon. So I thought, well, all right, so I'll go out there and, you know, just watching all these stupid programs. I don't even know what I was watching. Nothing I liked. I just wanted some noise. So finally, you know, he, he, he hollers at me. I get his breakfast, take it to him. That was when I was, thought I was boiling the water, which I was burning something in the other pot. So anyway, got the grits, eggs, and everything else to him. So we're happy there. So he... Gave him his pills, and he conked out and went to sleep. Uh, let's see, I think I was falling down. Okay, the one good news is the people came by from the hospice, hospice facility and said that he has been accepted. So that it was wonderful news to me and Marie because I still have to get Marie to come in there to listen to what Eddie's saying because his, his speech is is uh, kind of slurred a little bit, you know, and she can understand it real well. I don't know why I can't. So he got accepted. They're coming by, I don't know, they're saying Monday this coming week, which would be the, hang on a minute, I can cut this part out while I'm looking at my phone. Okay, so that'll be on the 29th from what I can gather. So we've got Eddie all week and the weekend coming up, and then they're going to, uh, according to what they say, they're going to pick him up, going to deliver, well first, yeah, they're going to pick him up, deliver him over there, and then it's about the same time they're going to have this other company come pick up all the equipment and everything and take it over there. So it's going to be kind of a long day on Monday. So we'll see, and then at the end of the day, I'll, I'll give you all an update how it went. I don't expect Eddie to uh, get along with anybody that day. He's probably going to be tired and irritable and not wanting to talk to anybody, especially me, because he's probably going to think that I don't like him anymore, but that's not the case. I can't pick him up anymore. I had a hard time last night, those three times. So, anyway, that's coming up. Anyway, all right, now next thing, let's see. Of course, I told you about the friend that woke me up at 2.30 in the morning. So, well, he fallen down, got accepted, and the water to ball, and that's really about it. Since John is gone, you know, he just got me and Marie, so he uh, he likes talking to Marie because he doesn't see her much. She doesn't come in there very often except when I need her. I wish you all a happy evening. Even, uh, uh, well, I wish you all some kind of a pleasant evening. And uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Oh, one thing I wanted to share with you real quick. I ran across a little short video of Joey, my 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 friend, and a uh, wonderful guy. Boy, I miss him so much. And uh, I thought I just I'm just going to show you a few seconds. This is us finish. He and I were finishing up a uh, brainstorming session. And of course, he's a guitar player and definitely a singer. Yeah, let me let me let me see. Okay, uh, that, that heart solo is going to work well there. Yeah, it is. But uh, my heart aches fighting in the midnight club, moving quickly as an exit crowd. If you don't leave me alone, I'll find somebody who will. I will find somebody. And then you do the guitar thing. I like that. I like that. Da 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 da. da. Budget, leave. And yeah. then coming back in. If you don't leave me alone. Well, there, there's my friend Joey. I'm, I'm constantly running across some of our videos when we used to sit down and brainstorm, come up with these. Some of these songs are really strange, but anyway. All right, y'all have a good evening.